Here I am on top of a mountain. You can hear water in the distance. I can hear water in the distance. You can see how high up I am. The edge is here. I'll go take a look in a minute. You can hear somebody yelling for the cows. Can't really see them, but there's cows out that way. And I'm headed right here. Apparently there's some Inca ruins right up here that not a lot of people go to or know about. I'm walking with my friend Dennis. Let's turn the camera around and take a hike. See the river there. La Rio. ¿Qué es el nombre de la Rio? Piraipani. ¿Qué? Piraipani. Ah, yeah, Pirai. The name. Pani. The name of the river. Pirai. Pani. 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 Ah, uh, yeah. It's important, I guess, to say that. Okay, here's the edge. Pretty steep fall. Pretty interesting. I wonder what these ruins will look like. I don't know what ruins means. It could mean anything. They're just made by the uh, Incas. I don't think it's buildings or a great pyramid or something, but um, remnants of the Inca living here. Very interesting. No, I think. Es frontera. Ah, ya. Yeah. Entre Incas sí. y Guarayos. Ah, ya. Yeah. Son diferentes. Sí, culturas. sí. Y aquí se. Ah, ya. Yeah. So he's saying that they, the Incas and the, and the, uh, uh, the Guarani Indians mm -hmm. were uh, in conflict and fought one another. And this is the kind of middle of where they would go because the Guarani were in the jungle area and the Incas up here in the highlands in the Andes. This looks more man-made right here from uh, recent times man-made. Kind of neat. The bark on here almost looks like a cedar tree. I live in the river, eh? Oh well, looks like they built something to overlook up here. I'm starting to breathe heavy, walking up the mountain. I actually have a sign here. A lot to read for me. <clears throat> I 
guess we might as well go up this touristy looking stairs. See some homes out there. Wow. It's interesting. Steep steps. <laughs> and somebody made a tree fort here. <laughs> Not the main way. Okay. Wow. Okay. <laughs> wow. This is quite a ways through this thick brush but we'll make our way down here I mean look how thick this is if there wasn't a path it'd be hard to get down here so I think we got to go all the way down by the by the river if I'm not mistaken wow okay so we're suddenly in the ruins I didn't expect to be here all of a sudden. They built these with rocks. And we'll take a look here from a better angle. Kind of hard to see on camera, I think. Some of these things. That they built. I assume they lived in things like this. Interesting. I don't know. Maybe it's just decorative and patio. I don't know. Wish I could read it and find out. Oh wow. What? Death. We have the skeletal remains that they found at one point, I guess. Looks like a 3D render of what could have looked like. I know that this place was rather untouched um, until a group of archaeologists came and, and uh, put up stuff like that. To the people here, it was just, you know, part of the culture. It was here. They didn't do anything. There's no restrictions to go here. Um, things like that. But now there is. Because we came in. He said, cuidado. That means be careful. Because if you fall here, it looks like somebody fell there once. Or maybe it's just water landslide down there in the river. But are you Pucarilla. Rio de Pucarilla. I think. Oh, you could go up there. Uh, just another way up, I bet. More signs. That's nice. Put some signs here. Let's see. Pucarilla. The municipal. Okay, it's saying that it's pretty much owned by people now. By the city of Villa Grande. The town. <sighs> Ruins. Hmm. Wow. Interesting. Yeah. See? Yeah, it is pretty. We're going to climb up right here. I'm a little sad that they did put signs out here. Because that means it's known more. There are places, and I'll take us there eventually, that are not as well known. Even the people around here don't know much about them. And, and don't frequent the places. As you can imagine, a lot of this place is untouched. 
that path I said we could have went up and now we are. Everything's prettier in real life though. Camera never does it quite justice. Anyway, that is it. That is the little bit of ruins here in Guadalupe, Bolivia. One more thing, one more thing, it's this. Right here, he's standing there. It's four. Yeah, see? It's beautiful, good view. But they would get, I was informed that back there where we were just videoing at the ruins, that it is for um, hiding out in uh, kind of like a little watchtowers on the peaks of these mountains so they could see when the Guarani were attacking. So that's what these are for back there.